guys, it's Kathleen and I've got good deed number 46 for you. And it's Veterans Week, so we are celebrating the men and women that are serving for our country. And I'm reading some of the stories that they've sent to me in the past eight years. So here's one we have. This is from to November 2007. And here we go. Uh, I know you like hearing about good deeds. And uh, the other day my girlfriend was asking me what my best moment in the military was. And this was by far my number one moment. We were deployed in New Orleans in the French Quarter as part of the task force Katrina and one of the first groups to go. The city was in ruin and the area we were in was hit particularly hard. When we got there, we went straight to work cleaning roads and looking for survivors. After a few weeks, people started coming back to their homes and we were still trying to cut up trees blocking the road. We'd been working on this tree for at least five hours trying to cut it up into small enough pieces to push out of the way. I climbed down to take a break. Unable to find a spot out of the sun, I leaned up against what was once a fence and brushed the sawdust off of me. Closed my eyes for a second when I felt someone was watching me. I opened my eyes to see a little girl standing in front of me with a big smile on her face. She handed me a bottle of water and said, thank you for helping us smiled again and ran off to rejoin her mom and dad a few houses down. I've been in for five years now and every once and again you get the person that comes up and says thank you and it's greatly appreciated but I will never forget the little girl that could still smile with nothing but chaos around her. It meant a lot to me. Oh my goodness okay try getting through that without tears. Um, this is something here we are this is back at home. These are, our, our, again, our, our lovely men and women serving for our country and, and serving us here in our country. And that's why I say, you know, when you see someone in their military uniform, and uh, go up and, and thank them because they have, I think, the hardest job um, around. You know, they do things, they do amazing things for us, and they put their lives in danger and often without any type of rewards. So... What are you going to do? Get out there, hug a military person, tell them thank you, send a care package, do a good deed, be kind, give me a shout out, until next time.